everyone. This is Priscilla Batzell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's a 14 by 14 inch canvas. I've just poured a little bit of Sherwin-Williams eggshell white around the outside edge because that helps me get my pillow paint to spread out from the center really well so I don't have as much spin-off as a lot of people have to put up with. This is my OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula as everybody who watches me usually knows. I'm going to move these in somewhat. I'm thinking about offsetting this. So if I get some of this paint that I'm spreading now to cover more of one side than the other, that'll be the reason. But it just seems to be doing a pretty good job of covering anyway. So I'm going to throw that in the bucket. I've got odd colors and uh, I, I saved them out earlier. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Oh, that's black. I don't want that. Well, maybe I do. Maybe a little black won't hurt anything. Maybe if I open the hole, <laughs> the drainage hole. I don't know if I'll do anything with that at all, but it's there. It might turn things gray. black paint. I've got all kinds of swipe options and I'm kind of thinking I might go with that. That's just the top to a baby kale container. And I'm going to use some Mayan gold to begin with. I'm going to use my couple of my favorite colors to begin with, which is in this case the Mayan gold. I've got some quinacridone Nicolazo gold from Golden, and I'm going to use it. I might just wind up falling back to what I like, which is not in this necessarily box that I put together. This is an orange peel with some gold shimmer. Those are primary elements. The Mayan gold is a prism pour. I'm going to use some silver. I'm shedding paint everywhere. Why am I shedding paint everywhere? I've got other colors. I don't think I'm going for what I originally planned. I've got browns and I'm not going to go for that. I'm just going to go back to what I usually do and add a little bit something else. This is the, um, the Royal Sapphire. What am I thinking? I am thinking that I like the Wild Orchid. The Royal Sapphire and the Wild Orchid are both prism pores. And I've been enjoying, been enjoying using some darker colored blue recently, so I'm going to throw a little bit of Midnight Shadow in there. And then also going to use some of the Fandango. Midnight Shadow and Fandango are both prism pours. And I was going to put some more green in, but I think I want some Cerulean Blue. And there I go overdosing the, my paint again. One of these times, this is not coming out. I'm just going to open it up. I'm trying to get all the little filaments out. Come on. This one's time to clean the threads. And I should have shaken it first, but it's okay. I'm missing my pink. I'm not sure I can do this without the jasmine. I'm going to have to clean this later. So I'm going to just go for it. This is jasmine. This is a primary element. That I just plugged the top on. Let's see if I can get, yes, I can get something out of it. Yes. I 
just takes a little longer or a lot longer. All right, well, at least I'm doing something slightly different by putting it offset, but sorry, my plan sort of didn't, <laughs> didn't materialize the way I thought it would. So let's grab some black and some white Australian Floetrol. Is everything plugged? I guess I wasn't expecting to be in here today. That's open. I'm thinking that I might want to use some of the Pebeo Iridescent Blue Green. I'm going to flip this over. Make sure that's open. I'm breathing. Grab my black. I usually use gold, but there's enough gold in there, I think. That is a substantial amount of black for me. Both the black and the white are Amsterdam in Aussie Flow Troll. That looks pretty cool. Might be more paint than I know what to do with though. So that's going to spin off. Let me move these out of here because I'm a little short on time. It's probably, you can tell by the, how dark it is in the room. Oh, look at those cells. Those cells are something else. That goes in the bucket. Let's just grab my favorite. Let's take some of that white. Let it go down to the bottom. I'm always saying you can you can actually scrape right down a canvas if you're careful to go when you go back to cover where you just scraped up. And you've got to oftentimes go slow. But when you put your spatula, your palette knife under you're going to want to lift up and release, like so. I don't even want to do anything to this, really. I'm trying to slow my roll so I don't destroy all my cell patterns. probably lose whatever's off the end. I could just spin that out easily right now. I could just leave it alone more like. At least this time my head isn't in the way I don't think. I will probably be putting a few spirals in. I got some really nice cell configurations. slow down I can actually keep some too. What else do I want to do? I don't want to do anything else. Let's go down. That was brazen. Just taking my time. Trying to take my time anyway. I'm thinking, usually I like to say the more crossovers the better, but this is a sort of a horse of a different color. I 
need to steal something from somewhere. Perfect. Having some odd shapes in here, but I think I'm probably going to spiral out a few things. I'm just trying to keep going until I feel like I've done my best. I want to move something over here. I'm not sure how to get away with that. <laughs> That's better. I think I might be almost ready for the skewer. Take some of that white, let it got a little bud in there. I'm not even sure how this is going to spin out. I like it so much right now, it's kind of too bad. I might tip it down some. That could resolve some of my issues. There's nothing to keep me from putting marks in the bottom half, though. with that. kind of want to grab my edge catcher if I'm going to do what I think I'm going to do. I'm not sure that last spiral was point, had a point to it. Alright, so if I'm going to do what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab something to pour my paint off onto. I happen to have a catch tray, so that's going to work well. Let's just rid ourselves some of that. Right now, because I can sort of thing, I kind of want to bring it over to the other side. Why not? I might even be able to use that paint again. Oh, I don't want to lose all my cells. Point that at you in a minute. That's pretty cool. I don't even want to do anything to it, but I guess I have to. At least a little spin. That's very cool. I want to thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. Your thumbs up is a very appreciated too, as well as your comments. Your comments keep my morale boosted. Let's go the other direction. And since I tipped, I'm not too afraid to leave some of this paint. I liked it with more of the with more of the pattern in there, but what am I gonna do? I like it still. 
it's pretty cool. I'm going to try and see if I can tip it back up and how much paint is moving. I may have to paint my top edge. I definitely had better colors before I poured everything away, but I will learn in time. Excuse me while I take the paint off my fingertips and look and see if I need to do something with a skewer, which I just put down where? <laughs> okay, I've got something. couple more or refining a couple spirals. Never hurt anything. It is what it is. It's still pretty magnificent, honestly. I bet I best not complain. I will remember what I learned, hopefully, and maybe I'll put a smaller pillow next time, but I kind of felt like I needed to scoop as much as I scooped. I will probably have a line of demarcation where the paint is heavier. There are some beautiful shimmers there. If I had more time, I might go back in over here and uh, add some more paint, but I think what I've got is pretty pretty nice as it is. I love you guys. Check out my link tree. Know that I have 29 lists of um, playli playlists of videos, <laughs> 2,900 videos, and uh, they're organized by topic and genre as well as by the hundred. And if you need a link, just ask me. I have them all handy and ready and organized to, to share with you. I have two books on my Amazon link. My books are Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. And if you shop my Amazon link, you help me out, and I really appreciate that. Um, not too many people have been there recently, evidently, but um, I really appreciate it. It helps me buy art supplies. Same as if you're a member of the studio. Thank you for your membership. I really appreciate you. I hope you're enjoying your 80-plus library, video library of, for members only. And uh, if you're a Patreon or a PayPal uh, donator, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much for your generosity. You keep me buying art supplies and bringing you tutorials. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. And should you want to reach me for inquiring about a lesson at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, or possibly the purchase of a painting, please feel free. My paint pouring recipes will be below the video. And uh, if you need me, leave me a comment. I, answer, I do answer questions. I'm all discombobulated. I'm not sure why. Um, please give me a thumbs up when you share my videos. You help me out. I really appreciate your help. And uh, thank you very much for being here. I'll be here again tomorrow at 10.15 a.m. Uh, or some other time, <laughs> variation on that theme. My community board should show you tomorrow's video on what time it is, no matter what time it is. All right. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Priscilla out. A little Zoom never hurt anybody. See you anon. <laughs>